Alright guys, this is a tutorial on how to do the Muscle Flash Effect on Cyberlink Power Director 8. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't suck and, uh, just randomly on that. Uh, then... Documents, now it's on my videos. And, uh, obviously you're gonna import your footage and you're gonna find a Muscle Flash off of the internet. Uh, we already did that. So we don't take forever on this. Uh, this is our best level flash we have right now. It's not very good, but because it's in this big, but if it looks in here, as you can see, the camera quality for this is not very good. But it's because this is an old video and couldn't find one, and didn't really bother looking that hard. So of course, you drag your footage down to the bottom. I don't really want to edit. No, I don't really want to edit that. Um, I just really don't need to. And so double click that or uh, click modify right there. And then, well, first click on that, apply chroma key, and then click on that. It should say you can click on it. If it doesn't, then what the heck, power director would suck for you. So then, uh, as you see, uh, the intensity level was 15 as it started out. Drag that up. If you really want that black part right there for 15, then you can have that, but I like it at 100, it looks better. So just drag that up and then you can rotate it and change the size of it. So I think it's really pretty easy. You want it pretty big, not too big, so it covers the screen. And then to save that, click OK and then change the size of it to small as possible and then as you can see you do not ever want to put a muzzle flash onto it because it looks like they're dragging it dragging the muzzle flash which would stink because that looks really cheesy and really crappy so I'm going to do it again just for to make sure you know how to do it Really you have to leave this little space. It doesn't really matter how long. They can't be right next to each other, like connected. They can't be touching. Intensity level. Rotate it. Change the size. It doesn't have to be the same size. It's a little big right there. That was kind of random. And now it's a little small, so I'm gonna make it bigger. There. It's not facing that way. You can also just copy paste it, but I didn't feel like doing that. It's easier to do this. And so now you see it, and uh, looks pretty good, but now you need the gun sounds. So now I'm going to show some gun sound tutorials. Yes, I see you see the BYU pictures. Go BYU. What? And yes, we only have a few gun sounds right now at the moment. We haven't downloaded very many quite yet because our computer broke computer. So I drag them in and just shorten them to about where there's less noise. I mean you can just have them all just because there's only two. So I might as well just leave it like that. So we play it. So you if you're satisfied you can move it if you want change it up but uh, I think I like it how it is so so I'm gonna put another one in and go to the next one and so I'm sure as it goes click on modify or double click either way it still works so I don't care I double click works easier for me but I don't really care either way works for you and so, as you can see, it's hard guessing. A little bigger. Put it right at the end of the gun. And make sure it's as short as it can get for... This, it can only be two frames. But it's still pretty good. And then, we need a gun sound. So, uh, you go to this little thing. Add more PIP and music tracks to the tab in Track Manager. Then, check these. Then, voila, you have more tracks for music and audio. So I'm just going to put another gunshot in. 
Well, I didn't really need to do that. So now you can look at it. And also you can put music in. I'm going to just put the first music I see. It's probably going to look really random and be really random. Oh. Uh, and then drag it in. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't do that because that would take a few, like, a long time. So, I decided I wouldn't do that. And so, and now I did this. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That wraps it up. See you guys later. Bye.